Have you ever suspected there may be a hidden cause of your erectile dysfunction? It could be something right under your nose. You can't put your finger on it. And it's possible there's absolutely nothing physically wrong with you. I think you're going to be surprised, and I'm going to reveal it to you. But first, subscribe to our channel so you can fire up your metabolism forever. And never miss out on any important weight loss, diet, and better health videos. And, and as always, please read the medical disclaimer, and here we go. Now, this is a very delicate subject. Let me tell you something important about male psychology as it relates to getting erections. And for those who know this, here's a refresher. To become very aroused, you have to be stimulated mentally and physically. There are other scientific factors at play here, but these are the two basic ones. To put it simply, you have to be turned on. As we get older, it naturally gets a little more difficult to get turned on. At this point, you've pretty much seen it all, been with several partners throughout your lifetime, and the novelty has worn off. So mentally, you don't get as stimulated as quickly. That's one of the reasons why it takes a 50 or 60 year old man a little bit longer to get erections during foreplay than a 25 year old. The good news is that at any age, you can be stimulated both physically and mentally. No matter what age, you may suffer from ED sometimes or all of the times if you are not physically attracted to your partner. Of course, now there may be other factors causing ED, but we're talking about a situation where you're not drinking excessive alcohol, consuming illicit drugs, or you don't have some condition that absolutely prevents you from getting an erection. I'm talking about simply being turned on. It could be psychological. Now there are different ways to get turned on. Before we go any further, just know that watching pornography is not one of the healthiest choices, although it does have its place and can be effective sometimes if that's what you desire in your relationship. If I suspected that I was not being turned on and that it may be a big reason for my erectile dysfunction, I would try just one simple test. First, in my own privacy or with the help of my partner, I would either imagine a fantasy with my partner or watch something that stimulates me and try to see if I really suffer physically from ED. And if I got a full erection and I was able to keep it for say 10 minutes or longer, I would instantly know that there was nothing physically wrong with me. I would immediately know it's in my head. A good friend of mine recently spoke with me about issues he was having and while I was trying to give him suggestions, he said, dude, it's easy for you to not have a problem with that because you're married to a beautiful, hot woman. If you research enough, you're going to find that in many cases, this is true. The hotter your partner, the easier it is to get an erection, usually. And I say usually because there could be other factors involved. So if you think you're suffering from erectile dysfunction because of the arousal factor, then you're going to have to pinpoint how to resolve this. Stop to think for a moment that the reason you may not be aroused also is because the problem lies within you. Are you trying to stay in shape and be healthy? Maybe it's your partner that's not being turned on as well. Maybe your partner is very attractive and you're not exactly where you want to be health-wise. If you don't consider yourself to be physically attractive and sexy, it could be a turnoff to you as well, no matter how attractive the other person is. Here are a few things I would try if I were in that situation. I would look in the mirror and be honest with myself. Am I the one who is out of shape and causing myself to not be turned on? I would ask myself if I am physically attracted to my partner, and if the answer is no, then why not? If it was either number one or number two, and it was affecting my sex life with my partner, then it would probably be time to seek some type of professional counseling. If I wanted to try and resolve it on my own, I would have a serious heart-to-heart -heart with my partner. It would require my partner to be open-minded. I would be very careful not to hurt my partner, but I would also let my partner know about the importance of being open and honest. Never, never blame your partner. The bottom line here is, in many cases, you just need to find a way to become sexually aroused once again to get rid of ED. We all can't look like supermodels and we can't have false expectations. We all can't have super libidos either. At some point, sexual desire begins to decline but many of us can improve the arousal and turned on factor in our relationships. We can begin working out with our partners if possible. We can change to a healthier diet, shed some unwanted pounds and look sexier. If you believe you suffer from ED because of the turned on factor, look for ways as a couple to get aroused. It's easier than you think. Get creative, do some role playing. You can also cast your inhibitions aside and try toys. There is no limit to what you can do to be turned on. Hey, Life happens, and many of us get a little lazy in the love department. Don't let that part of your life go. 
Take charge right now and get back on track. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends and family. I'm sending you love, energy, and good healthy food vibes. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one.